Hello, it's uh, Monday. I'm off today and I'm off tomorrow, Tuesday. Um, I am I'm, I'm at home. I've been very busy this morning. Me, Leslie, and Sky have been to Newcastle. Um, Sky had to go for an appointment for her uh, feet. Um, anyway, she's just got to go and have another operation to have the screws removed. But should be fine. She'll get on with it like the last time. In the meantime, though, I'm back at home doing what I can. Um, I have germinated some parsnips for the heavy, heavy parsnip. And I've put them in the germination chamber because. The first lot that I put in, um, they actually failed, and the ones I put into these pots here. So let me just turn you around and show you the outcome from the chitted um, pots. Top wire box. That works ideal. Let me just get it open here. So, in a piece of kitchen roll, damp piece of kitchen roll, I've left them in, and as you can see, they're starting to grow. So now I know that these are going to grow fine. I'm going to now place them in here and let them get going. So these are the ones I'm trying, the ones from the EGVJ pack, Parsnip Gladiator F1. Every single one has germinated, every single one. So I'm definitely be doing these again in the future. Um, so all I'm doing is just popping them in to these holes. So we should have two, four, six, eight, ten, ten parsnips come through in a couple of weeks so let us see i'll probably be a little bit behind but parsnips are on their way we'll see what becomes of them so it's nine o'clock i'm down at the plot sorting the fire out um and i'm going to pot on the um peter holden onions that i've got i've got six at home and i've got six down the plot here that's these ones here so there's four here and there's two more at the top i'm going to pot these straight into two litre pots um, I'm going to get this done now before I head back home. Then tomorrow I've got to write up a plan for to get a lot of things done tomorrow. So, um, like I said, there'll be a lot of, a lot of this week's video done tomorrow. Full day down the plot. Now that's them potted up. So six pieces of whole and onions, um, six here and six down home. I'm not happy with the way these are turning out at the minute. Um, I've had them up the top there. I think it's be. I don't know whether it's been getting too cold or what. I thought it would be in the ideal position to have them in the daylight because we're getting the daylight all day. But they're just not moving as fast as I would like. The root systems on them aren't as strong as I would like neither. I think I might take these home when I start moving things around. Um, the bigger stuff can go in the middle of greenhouse when I get sorted out, but as of these, these will probably end up going home to see if I can play catch up a little bit because they're not where I want them to be. But anyhow, there'll be lots of changes happening in the back of here tomorrow. Is these cabbages, which are absolutely flying, absolutely flying by the way, absolutely going nuts. These will be going out into uh, the middle back in the middle of greenhouse for the time being. Um, or even in the polytunnel. It just depends on where I'm going to put them. And I'll get them a good fleece over the top of. Might just be for a couple of weeks until I get the middle greenhouse sorted out. But I need to get them out of here. Is I need some more space. I've got un leeks to pot on. I've got onions to pot on. I've got these onions to sort out to move into the middle greenhouse as well. I've got potting on to do. But that's just what it is. Um, I need to get my finger pulled out. I need to get the middle greenhouse away with the heat. Um, just to keep the frost away because it's going to get it's going to get close to zero up here in the northeast over the next fortnight. Um, and I need to keep these temperatures going uh, in here. I don't want to lose anything. Lots of nice things growing in here. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, so yeah, busy day tomorrow. I shall catch us all tomorrow, bright and early, for a busy day. Well, that's predicted. Good morning from the plot. Um, I do have uh, one task to do, uh, two tasks to do this morning very quickly, not on my garden but on Leslie's. I've got to go up and sort the roof out because it's uh, got a big hole in the middle. Um, so I went in some blue roll, get up there, tap that down just like I did with that pot and shed roof and then I'm going to sort a fire out as well. Um, that is all sorted, the fire has been sorted from last night, stayed on lovely. Just bank that up for the day because it's very very cold today, it's two degrees. Uh, up here in the northeast it's going to be cold for the next fortnight so we'll get everything wrapped up it's still not time to get your stuff planted yet you can do it any time between the middle of march onwards there's no rush for you guys who grow just for the garden 
you can it's just going to be a little bit later for getting stuff out that's all but let's get cracked on let's get sorted Gwen has woken us up finally had a heart attack the old beggar brain on the door and i was having to think of what we need to do the day <laughs> but let's get sorted out so down on Leslie's pot, I am going to get the fire sorted out and then I'm going to make a start on the roof. Um, as you can see, the roof needs sorting out. So I've got uh, some swim pool cover that will go across the top of there, over the side. Then obviously a bit that comes underneath just so the water runs off as well and I've got to cut the chimney out as well. Um, just like I've done across the top of that one because it's worked well on top of that one. So as you can see from the blue bits, there, the felt is now on, the blue cover is on anyways, um, a lot more watertight than what it was before with the holes in the roof. I managed to get up on top of the roof, which I'm sure a few people got a few photographs of. Um, oh yeah, Leslie got a few photographs of. <laughs> uh, I put them up as well. But the, um, the roof's on, that's going to keep it watertight. We've got the fire on inside, it's sizzling, sizzling away there nicely. We're going to have a cup of tea. Oh, by the way, Leslie's got purple hair now. I came home one day and she was purple. <laughs> She's going through all the colours of the rainbow. <laughs> so one of the plot rollers has just been down as well and given Leslie a little horseshoe. So I've just chucked that up on as well for good luck. Um, I've still got a little bit to tack on the side, but other than that, the roof's finished. Right, so I showed you before on the inside. That'll be the outside. Let's see, it's not. I sort out that bit there as well, but. That's all on there, it shouldn't be coming off there. It's all nice and tidy on this side anyways, but that's it done. Right, I'm just gonna do one more thing for Leslie and head out to my pot. Right, back on my hometown. <laughs> Last night I said that I was gonna make a plan and come down to get that plan sorted. Well, that didn't happen. <laughs> so I'm now down the plot, I'm gonna have a look around and see what I can get done. See what I see, get it done, sorted. I do need to get these cabbages out of here though, so uh, I need to work out where I want to put them now. Decision made, Ca giant cabbages are going in the polytunnel. So I've put them all in the polytunnel. I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, I've got eleven here all together. Now I need eight, so out of these lot I'll be picking the best eight. Um, I'm not even going to bother facing them over because in the tunnel here they should be fine. I might put some, uh, might put something along the back there just to protect from the wind. But other than that, that's them in. As you can see, them cabbages will be fine. The spring cabbage, I've got the same size. <laughs> They're doing absolutely fine with no problems on them at all, neither. So, they should be fine there. That's some space made, sorted out. We get the full sunshine all day. Happy days. They should be all right in there, as long as it doesn't get below zero. If it gets below zero, I'll have to fleece them over. But that's... That's it. I'm making the decision. I need the space. Giant cabbages are going out there. They might slow down a bit, but it is what it is, like it's sorted out. Now there's a site. Not only a few months ago, they were going in the other direction. The geese flying north for the spring. Spring will not be, not be too long. Here's something I've actually forgotten about. Now these were tucked away right at the back. I've got giant green cabbage and giant red cabbage from both from the saved seed. So they're doing quite well. Now what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to put them in the middle greenhouse because like I say, I don't need them anywhere with special. I've got uh, red cabbage already on the go for the, um, the giant stuff. So these are just to experiment and see what happens. So I'm going to get them moved out here as well. Next task, get these Mackenzie's potted up. Now we're going to go into two little pots from them into them. Then that means I've got plenty of time to, to leave them to grow out the pot. Well, I found something that's not good, not good at all. Looking at these leaks in the daylight, I've spotted some major problems. One of the biggest major problems is I've got thrip. Now, I don't know how I've not managed to notice it before. And you see the greenness have been sucked out of the leaves. And if I pull these tight, these apart, we're looking for little yellow bugs. See that thing there? That's a thrip. Now, my fault. I've not really been spraying much in here. I've been hoping that the uh, Vivate's been going to keep it away. Obviously, it hasn't. You can see on that one, them ones there. Little, 
thrip 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 so i need to get my finger out and get this spray get the sprayed back on in here spray on uh, that one that's that's not uh, virus that is thrip right so spotted that anyways i'm going to get that uh, sorted out so i can get them before the catch on with these other plants as well because these ones seem to be all right the big ones but i'll give them a spray anyways and we'll get these uh, sorted out but yeah dis disappointed but uh best get me spray on that's a uh, mackenzie's potted up i've got eight for me and i've got six for granddad which are still there granddad david keep a hold of them right there's one task i'm gonna get sorted very quickly here and that's the the onion house along the side here is all the green mesh i'm gonna snip that across and put some balls across the middle and voila that's that done so I pull it tight put the boards on that's that sorted out happy did i've got some plenty of airflow through there as well it's not a lot hot in here hello there ronnie all right i'm gonna get uh, that window sorted out now and that's another task done so that's that window in so i can seal it up put a couple of screws and that's in hey these cabbages aren't doing too bad in here like I am going to take the back section off. I need to get rid of all these um, polycarbonate pieces. I'm going to get them out of here as well. Make it start tidying up in here. I have a quick tidy up on the inside of course, which I've already started. I need to get this bench in as well. So for some more bench space, I'm going to get that crack on done now as well. Right, so after a quick knock around, I'm going to get my bench in. A bit of a tidy up in here as well. Got rid of all the old roof panels. So there's the bench all in, ready to go. Now quarter past four temperature in here is currently about 16 to 17 degrees 16 degrees which is canny for being unheated that's how warm it's been today um of course so i've got these cabbages to sort out these are ready to be eaten these actually and start taking some of these home for dinner and uh, i've got this bit of rubbish to tidy up and i've got to get some more stones in here as well um i don't know what to do uh regards to the bottom in here because this is the lowest part and of course it floods um but uh, well, not dealing out with it today but please get that little bench done please to get that little window sorted out i'm pleased to get that green mesh stuff sorted out as well for ventilation so there's another task done for today and just like that the work has stopped as you can hear and as you can potentially see the heavens have just opened so that stops play outside for me. Um, I need to see what else needs to be done in the greenhouse here. I've got some tomatoes to pull up, but I need to get sorted out, but I've got no compost. <laughs> I'll have to pick some more compost up at the weekend to start potting on these tomatoes, because uh, they need to be potted on. The space that I made, I've started to fill. The, I've had a quick check around the leaks and things as well, see if there's any problems. Other than the thrip, everything looks to be thriving. Um, had a good look around the onions and things as well um, yeah happy days they're all taken along nicely down here at the garden as well as the ones at home as well um, so yeah that's I'm going to call it a day um, down with the allotment if I get anything else done at home I'll uh, update you when I get there good evening it's Wednesday evening I'm uh, just quickly down the plot sorting fire out um, I've kind of chickened out <laughs> I was down back down again last night after I finished playing pool about 11 o'clock and uh, I brought the cabbages back inside <laughs> but do you know what it is I'm absolutely over the moon that I did because it got to about minus three last night Um sorry I'm busy sorting the fire out look at that war paints on Um I brought them, please I brought them inside because I got the minus three last night and it would have been far too cold for them in that greenhouse. Uh, in that polyton, sorry. So I am pleased that they've uh, I brought them in. I'm not going to lose them. Um, it, it is what it is. I do need to get that middle greenhouse going for the heat because I've run out of space. I have spotted something on the, um, the Amaryllis that Dave Shaw gave me. Let me spin you around very quickly and I'll show you it. So as you can see, the Amaryllis, uh, of all three of them are shot up. This one here is the one that I got off Dave, the apple blossom. Um, I've just spotted on the right-hand side here. It's actually got a side growth on it as well. So I don't know whether or not that's for the base of this. I'm going to have to pot this up and have a look, because if that bit there, I can take that bit away and use it as a different plant. But I'll see what happens. I'm not going to do it at the moment. 
but that's looking well. It's a good six, 68 inches. Yeah, so it's about six and a half, seven inches long, that. Yeah, it's fantastic. I've got some more popping up to do for long as well with these tomatoes and things and the cucumbers, which is great. Um, let me set the next batch away and I've got chilies to pot up as well. Uh, but you've all seen that in any case. Um, right, that's me sort of for today, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to be going home getting prepared for the live stream tonight. So I'll, I'll see you see. on the live stream. And if not, I'll catch you tomorrow. Hi guys, it's Friday evening. I um, just popped out of the plot, to do the usual. Um, I brought the Dynamic down as well because obviously everything in the back needs to be sprayed. I've sprayed everything in the back. Um, I've got my trusty Dynamic. I will be getting some uh, other sprays brought down as well so I can do a rotation of spraying. So um, it's still still early, so um, I should be able to get um, all of the nasty bugs and everything sorted out with them, giving them a chance as well. Giving everything a good drink, um, I've given the leeks a good drink with uh, and cabbage as well, with some seaweed feed as well, um, which I got from the allotment shop. So I've given them a feed for this week as well. Um, I've still got legacy actually to get things potted up. Uh, I'm not off until Sunday. Uh, I've got lots of things planned for Sunday. I might not even get to the show on Sunday. Um, I've got that much stuff to do. I need to get caught up. Unfortunately, it might be the case. that I just have to unfortunately miss that show. Because um, I'm, oh, I'm at work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday next week. Um, but the positively with that as well is that I can get down in the mornings and I can get little bits done. So that is the plan for next week. Um, so that's what's happening at the minute. Everything else is looking peachy keen. I just need to get the other greenhouses opened up and the weather to bloody do one and get nice and warm again. <laughs> so uh, that's an update for today. I'll catch you over the next couple of days. So I've just finished work and I popped down to Leslie's plot here. She's done a, she's done a fantastic job. Um, today she spent the majority of the day down at her garden here. Uh, she's, just, she's just put the kettle on for us, as you can see. So the kettle's on. She's got she's a little potting shed in here. Got a couple of seats, got a shelving in. Got a compost bin down here as well, which is great. Um, and let me see, this keeps it warm in here as well when we're not using the we're not using the uh, summer house. And I'll just show you what she's done outside as well in the summer house today. She's done a really good job. So as you can see there, the, the way the, the roof's held on well. Um, but also you can see that she's done loads of the, the patio there as well. So she's done. She's got to sell a whole other patio outside of our summer house as well there. <laughs> and the kids have been in there. They've made a mess, so they're busy tidying up. So um, she's done a she's done a cracking job there so far, and she's also been the front here. I'm, no, I'm not going outside. The side there, she's uh, put more bark chippings and stuff down, but uh, majority of the day she's spent sorting out the the patio area. And she's about to make me a cup of tea, so I'm going to have a cuppa before I head over to my garden. So back down my garden, it's absolutely blowing a gale out there. Um, I've sorted the fire. Uh, I've got some bad news. Um, we'll go one of the leaks. Uh, one of the leaks, once I've been straight like that, it was keeling over ever so slightly. And I've noticed it over the past few weeks. So I've actually just potted up not long ago into five litre pots, um, which is a shame because our compost is now not good. Um, I'll spin you on and show you what the problem is. So this was the leak. It was sitting in the pot. As you can see, it's starting to bend over, which is never a good sign. So I've dug around the bottom and I found the reason why. I spin it round, so it's all alright on there, all alright on there, and then bang. As you can see, it's rotten from the bottom. So pull that, get rid of it, done. I might chop it up and take it home, I might, I might just chuck it, in the, chuck it outside and burn it. In fact, I'm going to chuck it on the fire because it's no good now. Apologies about that. So yeah, another leak down. Um, I'm going to have to take a look, keep my eye on this one. Because it's the last one, all of them ones are the ones from home, apart from them, them two at the back are the ones from home as well. So I'll have to get them pulled out in the front, see what they're like tomorrow when I'm down. But, eh, uh, c'est la vie. See what's what, I'll get all of these because these need to be potted up shortly as well. So, I'm making some room, but not the way I want. I've got a cracking day off tomorrow, so I need to get some stuff sorted out, so I'll catch you all tomorrow. Good morning everybody, it's Sunday morning. Um, morning of i was like i said last week i was planning on going to the show this morning but um too much stuff to be getting on with down here and i need to go and get some more coal and stuff as well so uh i've had to knock that on the head unfortunately um but i'll show you the two leaks that i was going to take in anyways c'est la vie c'est la vie um and uh then what i'm going to do is i'm going to get some potting on done i've got chilies ready to pot it on i've got some tomatoes that's ready to pot on i need to get it sorted so i've already spent a little bit of time getting ready with the pots um, I've already cut the bags up as well and got the trays all ready to go so I'm going to crack on and get this done as fast as I can and then I'm going to head up and get the coal. So 
these two would have been my offerings into the show today. Like I say, it's not to be. Um, they're the best two I've got and the most uh, farthest on, apart from the two with the home and the lights. Um, but yeah, they're the ones that I would have taken. But you've got to be in it to win it, and unfortunately, I'm not in it. So good luck to all the lads down at uh, Middleton St George. I will get down there uh, throughout the season. So um, yeah, time to get things potted up here. Open up, you open up. Bet you won't be my. We should be closer than friends if you open up. So that's 43 chilies potted up. Now the dick eye ends. So they'll be staying somewhere nice and warm. I'm going to get the, the covers over the top and uh, put the propagator lid over the top and I'm going to move them out of this greenhouse. Um, this should be all right. Uh, I'm sure it will be. Um, so after I'm done, I'm going to get the cucumbers all potted up. So adapt. Recycle, got loads of pot noodle tubs off uh, the next door neighbour. So I just knocked some holes in the bottom of them, filled them up, and there we go, cucumbers sorted. I've got eight in total here. And they're already spoken for, and they get some more set away. I don't want to do more, a few more cucumbers, so I'll have to find them and get them sorted. I just want to pop them straight back into these top, these pots here as well and get them started. But in the meantime, I'm running late, so I need to go and get my, I need to go get the cool now, so um, I'll see you after I've been up there. Okay, it's about one o'clock, I'm back. I've managed to hump the 12 bags of coal. So I'm getting, uh, obviously that's a coal stock up for the rest of the year. That's it, done, sorted. Um, I've just sorted out space in the greenhouse here as well for the plants I need it. Um, and I'm about to start sowing some more things. So there you go, there's 43 de Cayennes. I've got my tomatoes there, which are heading on nicely. I've got some more cayenne chilies sitting up there as well. They're on their ways. Um, I've had a bit of a move around. Uh, I've started some more Telegraph Improved Cucumbers as well, so they're back in the them pots there, and I've popped the popped the other ones up the top there in the light, and they're all getting a drink. So, that's the first batch sorted. Now, time to get some more stuff sewn, because it's now coming up in the middle of March nearly, um, and we can start sewing things. So these Oriental poppies are going outside, I'll sew them by hand. Um, I'm going to put a couple of things in here. So I'm not going to do them, I'm more interested in snowball turnips and the purple top Milan. So smaller turnips there, the rest of them can wait because they can be direct sown. These two are the ones that I'll be sown today and they're going to be going into these cell trays. So I'm going to get this uh, one, I'm going to get these filled up and start sowing. A few people might remember a couple of years ago, I made a quickly knot together a little lean-to chair. Um, this is just to help the back bending over and stuff like that and uh, the chair's still going two screws two bits of wood put a bit of an angle on the bottom hey works a treat for when i want to sit down and put up so just get myself comfy right so two lots of Turnips, snowball turnips had a really good um, year last year with the snowball turnips. Um, well, I think it was 2018 actually. Um, so I definitely want to try some of them again. And purple top Milan. So I've got two different varieties here. Um, all I'm going to be doing is sewing them into these single trays. You can sew them into seed trays. There's several different ways you can do them. You can sew them just blank canvas, sew them into seed trays, then just prick out when they're big enough. Or I'll tell you, like doing what I'm doing here. Um, I'm just. I'm, I'm going to put two per tray, um, so two seed per tray, and I'll just end up with one and one per one per section, because I'll just nip out the weakest one. And if there's two, then I'll just kill off one of them. In any ways, there's absolutely tons and tons of seed in here. I've got nearly where's well, a thousand seeds in there, so I've got plenty of seeds to play with. So I'm going to get cracked on. I'm going to get these done. I've got one done here. I've got the other one done there. I've put these somewhere, and that's they'll be going in there. Granddad's garden. Um, 
Um, I mean, there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine by three. Then it's twenty-seven. Twenty-seven in there. So double that. This is talking nearly 100, 115, 120 plants just in that section there. But knowing my luck, um, they'll all germinate. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. But that's the turnips uh, started off. Um, like I say, these are more likely to be going into Grandad Dave's garden than mine. Um, but now while I've got an hour, um, I've just had a phone call saying that we want some leeks from the garden because we're having some leeking potato soup. So I'm going to go and dig up some more leeks. I spent about 15 minutes in that bed over there. They're all leeks. Um, digging them up, and this is what I've come away with. So as it's getting later on in the season, and I'm picking these more and more, getting smaller and smaller, but hey, that will do. Plus for a meal. I'm gonna have leeking potato soup for tea tonight. Happy days. It's all, there's a lot of leeks that went, went to seed. So it is a shame, but it is what it is. Um, I need to take that over. I'll start doing that next week, of course. Um, but I've still got a full, full bed there as well. So I should still get some biggins from there, so I can still be uh, still be cropping them for a good another month yet, if and when we need it. I'll just take all this, the seed heads off. But these are all the ones from the top from the pot, the ones that are just left in the pot. Um, it was the tall pots, uh, and I just popped them in six inches down, and they got a nice little blanch on them. But this is the plan next week. Next week, I'll be starting from the top, working my way all the way down till we get to here because there's polytunnels going on the end of there but um yeah that's the plan next week but you get this sorted for this week at the minute uh oh passing the bed passing the bed has collapsed so that's that done i've still got parsnips in here i'm going to dig them out and see what they're like so that's what i'm going to get done now here's the parsnips tell you what i'm well impressed some good i mean there's some some dodgy ones like but uh, the rest of them nice and big and straight and there's one in particular that i'm sure it's bigger than the one i took to harrogate last year <laughs> it's like them this one yeah look at it <laughs> massive i'm gonna take some of these home i'm gonna give some of the next door as well we'll wash them up pop them in she can put them in the super if need to be but happy days with them Right, so we've been chopping away all the lads next door. Um, and of course, with the fire, there's always going to be a byproduct. Byproduct for me is coal ash. Now, at the minute, I've got that much coal ash to sort out. So I thought, let's do an experiment. So, what I've got is I've got another pot noodle pot. I'm getting one of the Garner Delight tomatoes. And I've potted it in just soil coal ash. That's it. And let's see what happens with this over the next few weeks. So, hey, it's, it's not going to win out, not going to lose out. So, nothing to lose. So, why not give it a chance? And if this succeeds, I might grow a few more and then just see what happens with it. Well, that's a productive day sorted out. I've got the chilies, obviously, chilies potted up. Um, the experiment of Tom potted up. Uh, I've got things moved around in here, so I've got a bit of space. I've getting some turnips sowed. Uh, just making plans with Granite Dave about the rest of the week as well. Um, cucumbers at the top up there. Uh, everything's looking nice, lush and green. Absolutely fun, dabby dozy. So that's a productive day all done and dusted. Getting the coal sorted, check. Getting a few things potted on, check. A few things potted, check. Seeds sowed, check. Um, leeks for tea, sorted, done. Got leeks, parsnips, all sorts getting done today. Fantastic, exactly what I wanted to sort of productive day all around. Um, me and Granite Dave just had a quick chat there to see what we need to get done for next week. Um, next week there'll be a hell of a transformation outside because in the next eight weeks, I need to get my polytunnel built. Now I'm going to build the frame and then I'm going to put the, get the polytunnel sorted out as well. So that'll be getting done because um, the leeks, need, leeks will be going out the first week of May. Um, I've got them to pull up as well. <laughs> it's never ending, never ending. But at the minute, that's me done for this week. I'm going to go home, have my tea. I've got a game of pool to play the night. Then uh, back to graft tomorrow. But before work, I'll be down on the plot getting dug over. So for me, in this lot, I'll see you all next week. Take care. Mm -hmm.